This will be an introductory reading for a new series that I'm going to do of Psalms 23 from different translations. This is an excerpt from the book Growing Up Spiritually by Kenneth E. Hagan. The chapter on walking with your father. And these are his comments from his book here on Psalm 23. And they are so wonderful. I just wanted to use them as the introduction to these readings. Psalms 23. To me, no passage describes the love attitude of the Father and Jesus toward us more beautifully than Psalm 23. Many psalms are prophetic. The 22nd psalm is a picture of Jesus dying. In the 23rd psalm, he is the Good Shepherd. The 24th psalm shows him as the coming King of Kings and Lord of Lords upon the earth. We are living in the 23rd Psalm right now. Quote, the Lord is my shepherd. End quote. When Jesus came, he said, I am, present tense, the good shepherd. Romans 10, 9 says, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, or Jesus as Lord. The Lord is my shepherd now. I live in the 23rd Psalm. This is my interpretation of the 23rd Psalm. I always say it this way. The Lord is my shepherd. I do not want. I do not want perfect satisfaction the ultimate of living. Verse 2 is where the luscious clover and tender grass carpet the ground. No effort on my part is required to have or to get enough. He leads me beside the water, waters of stillness. Water and food are the requisites that sustain life. Thank God, he leads me. He leadeth me. He supplies every need. He makes me lie down and rest in safety and quietness in the pastures of plenty. Near me is a babbling brook. Its living waters answer the cry of my heart. I have water. I have food. I have protection. I have shelter. I have his care. Hallelujah. This is my Father. When I am frightened and filled with fear, when my whole being is convulsed with agony, he restoreth my soul. He keeps me quiet. He makes me normal again. He brushes away my fears and anxieties and holds me to his breast and breathes into me courage and faith. My heart laughs at my enemies, for he guideth me down the paths of grace through the realm of righteousness where I stand in his presence as though sin had never been and I romp and play in the throne room of grace with never a thought nor a fear nor a dread my father you see is the one who is on the throne he may be judge to the world and God to the sinner, but he's father to me. Oh, I do love that. 
You may be judge to the world and God to the sinner. Oh, but you are father to me. And sometimes I come in, most of the time, in fact, to visit him. And I hear him say, Son, is there anything you want? What can I do for you? And I say, Father, I don't want a thing. You're so wonderful and so lovely and so good. You've already provided for me all I'll ever need. And you wrote me a letter and told me about it. So I don't have a care. I don't have a need. I don't have a want that hasn't been met. No, I didn't come for something. I'll tell you, Father. I just came in to visit with you for a while. I just wanted to hang around the throne. I like to be near you, Father. My father said to me, and oh, I could hear his voice so plainly as he spoke to me, Son, you don't know how that delights my heart. No earthly father ever desired the companionship and fellowship of his children any more than I, the heavenly father, desire the fellowship and companionship of my children. You know, he said to me, I made man so I'd have someone to fellowship with. I made man for my companion. In fact, I'll put it this way. And he said it in just these words. I made man so I'd have someone to pal with. Someone to pal with. I put Adam on the earth in the garden, and in the cool of the day, I'd go down and walk and talk with him. It is so blessed and so beautiful and so wonderful to be able to walk with God. Hallelujah. Wasn't that just wonderful? Oh, my, 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 my. I just like this little paragraph over here. When I am frightened and filled with fear, when my whole being is convulsed with agony, he restoreth my soul. He keeps me quiet. He makes me normal again. He brushes away my fears and anxieties and holds me to his breast and breathes into me courage and faith. Oh, don't we need that? I don't know, you may be someone who is needing that right now. Oh, just let him love you. Just be still and let God love you right now. Let him restore your soul. Let him pour in the oil and the wine. Let him anoint your head. Let him prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Let him lead you to that place of lying down in green pastures by still waters. The Lord is your shepherd. Hallelujah. God bless you today. Oh, just receive these wonderful words as from the precious Holy Spirit right to your heart.